Seriously, lately, I should not leave my house because every time I leave my house, I've been coming back with so much stuff. I have an awesome haul for you today. I went thrifting in Somerville, Mass, and I found some incredible things at the Goodwill store there. And I also hit a spontaneous sale at Buffalo Exchange that I didn't know was happening until I walked by the store. If you wanna see what I found, stick around. I'll be right back. I am in Davis Square in Somerville, Mass, and I am going to head into the Goodwill here to check out some items and look for spring trends. I had filmed an entire trend video and deleted all the footage. Let's head into Goodwill and see if we can find some fun spring items. Well, I'm finding some really great things. Uh, this is a two level shop, it's packed. I always go to the little corner in the basement by the books um, to sort through my cart and I found this tray and this was the only listing I could find on this particular one with the inlay with the pelican so I grabbed that. Here I am just sorting over here in the corner going through everything and as you'll see later in the video. I do find some really cute spring things, but I also find a lot of cute things that aren't for spring that I still end up taking home because I just think they're that good. I spend a fair amount of time looking up comps at this store and these oddly of England suede shoes or London, I looked up. The comps weren't fantastic, but I thought those were cute shoes. Uh, maybe at a lower price, I would have picked them up. Fringe and micro mini skirts are really big. Um, I really thought this Forever 21 skirt was really cute and I wanted to take it home because it checked two boxes, the micro mini and the fringe, uh, but there was a stain on it. I also left this Entro shirt behind. Even though they were on trend, I just didn't think the return would be good enough. I loved this lemon skirt. It was by Divided, which is H&M. I left this behind also because I have some pieces at home that haven't sold yet. Um, but this is the look that I'm going for. I just think these midi skirts are so cute, just casual with sneakers and a t-shirt. I was also inspired by this look when I saw this Calvin Klein blazer. Uh, Two-piece suiting is really in, but I was going to pick this up even as one piece, but there was a moth hole there on the shoulder, which was too bad. I also thought this look was amazing, just the way that they rolled up the jeans and wore, mixed it with heels and the oversized blazer. I just loved it. Um, this was another pair of Tory Burch shoes that I found. I don't know if you saw the first pair yet, but I did find a black pair as well. One of the looks I was going for was platforms because that is one of the springs for 2022. I liked these Michael Kors platforms. They were cute, but they were a little pricey and there was some damage in the front. Some of the wood was marked up, so I left those behind. Also, these LK Bennett uh, nude patent leather heels. Uh, I thought these were so nice. The sold comps on this style shoe was just outrageous, the range that I saw. From as low as $5 to as high as $200 for pre-owned shoes. Unfortunately, they were stained, so I had to leave them behind. Okay, I don't know how it happened, but I found two items, well, two sets of pottery items that were very special to me, and I'm going to talk about them a little bit later. Um, the pricing on this was really good and also had some sentimental value, so stay tuned for a little story time on these pieces. I think that's 
All right, we just left Goodwill. Oh my gosh, I went crazy. I got a lot of housewares, so I'll show you what I got there. Um, right now, we are headed over to an alley where Buffalo Exchange was doing a $1 sale. The line was insane, um, and so I didn't stay in it. And it's pretty much cleared out, but I'm just gonna see if anything's left. Everything's a dollar, but it's like in back of the store. All right, I'm at Buffalo oh, Exchange, and they had a $1 sale, and it was insane oh, okay. earlier but this is it. They're closing in like two minutes. So these lovely ladies are helping me. <laughs> you guys are the best. And yeah, I'm just grabbing what I can for a buck. All right. I just left that little alley sale at Buffalo Exchange and I got 10 items, 10 bucks. I got some shoes. I'm pretty excited they were wrapping up. We literally had five minutes, but your girl acted really fast. So. I'm going to jump right into the haul because I bought a lot of items at Goodwill. I spent $190 and I got 32 items. And as you saw in the footage as I was leaving, I ended up finally going to the alley where they were having the Buffalo Exchange sale. Everything was a dollar. When I first got there, the line was just absolutely insane and it just wasn't worth waiting. So I went to Goodwill and Jay had been walking around the town and he said, it looks like they're still having their sale. So we loaded the Goodwill stuff in the car, went over and I got 10 items there. So in total, I spent $200, pretty much to the penny, and then I got 42 items. So let's jump right in. I am going to show you the housewares that I got. I found so many gems. First and foremost, this is for my own personal collection. When I got married in 1995, I registered at Crate and Barrel for my dishes. And at the time, Crate and Barrel had other companies that they would sell in their store. One of the brands that they sold in their store when I was registering was a company called Bennington Pottery. At the time, I was 21 years old. I didn't know the brand or anything. I just knew that I liked these dishes. And it was white on white pottery made in Vermont. So I had registered for all these things. And then years later, I realized that there was a store in Bennington, Vermont. We visited a couple of the stores there. I also went to where they have like a secondhand spot and you can get things really inexpensive. Um, there are a couple different locations in Vermont that I've been to. Anyway, I'm obsessed with my dishes. I've been married 27 years this June. I still have all of those dishes that I registered for through Crate and Barrel in 1995. Little background story because I just want you to know how special this piece is to me. I saw this platter and it just looked really pretty. Just this very minimalist, natural looking piece and when I flipped it over I had been looking at some other pottery in the area I noticed right away that it said Bennington Potters and I about fell over it also says 1980 so I don't know if that's when the company was founded I hope you can see it this is where it says all the Bennington pottery stuff here and this piece is an absolute gorgeous condition and what I love most of all is that it's going to match my set. Uh, the white on white at Bennington is something that they don't always do but that's what my set is. I've bought other pieces through the years but every time we go to Vermont I try to make a point to go in and pick up something from ben Bennington Pottery and I just cannot believe this. This was $8.99. So today is April 23rd and this was out on the floor on April 18th. So I was so excited to get this. I love just picking up pieces through the years. The only other pottery that I've ever invested in besides what I registered for was years later, probably in the early 2000s, I went to this store in Northboro, Mass. If anybody is from the area, it's called the Purple Rose. And they have just gorgeous, very high-end housewares. At the time, they were selling this line of pottery that was made in Portugal called Casa Fina, and this was Casa Stone, and this is the Madeira Harvest. So this is definitely a little more like French country. I don't know that I would go for this pattern over again, but it, it's, it reminds me of like Tuscany, and it's very Italian feeling, even though it's made in Portugal, and it's got like the grapes and the fruit Anyway, I invested a lot of money in this set way back in the day, and I mixed the colors a little bit. I have some golden pieces, some like mossy green pieces, and then a lot in like a cream ivory. So when I saw these, and I don't have this shape bowl, so I'll show you pieces of my collection, but I've never seen this like peachy orange color, which I really liked, and I never bought these shape bowls. Just for reference, one bowl 
from Casafina is between $25 and $30. So every time I would go in, I'd get like two plates or two mugs. Like I piecemealed my collection together. So whenever I see it out in the wild, I get pretty excited. And I still use it to this day. It's not as much my style now. I'm actually much more into the white and on white from um, Beddington Pottery, which is fantastic because that's 27 years old, but you can't go wrong with white in my opinion. So that has actually come back into me liking it more than this, but I thought these pieces were beautiful. These were $3.99 each. So I got all four. I wish they had six because I have a family of five, but I like that I can mix and match and realistically, you know, Rocco's leaving in the fall. It's just going to be Jay and I, so we can enjoy those bowls. Uh, this was the first thing that I picked up and I thought this was so pretty. This is like a Lazy Susan. I love picking up like wood pieces for my closet. I think this will sell very well. This was $5.99. You can see the little tag there. I'm not seeing any marks on the bottom to know where this is from, but it has this pretty uh, like silvery floral pattern inlaid here and it's really gorgeous. I love mercury glass with um, wooden pieces on my mantle and in my built-in cabinets in my living room area. So this really fits in with my vibe where it's a little bit of the glam with the silver, but then you get like the rustic wood. I think this would be great on a table like for a party. It just spins around. $5.99. I have no idea what I would sell that for if I did sell it, but I might enjoy that for a little while before I do sell it. This I picked up because I have bought so many hydro flasks for my kids and this was $1.99 and it looks like brand new. Like if you look at the bottom and it's this cute size that I like when I've bought these for my kids and they're usually like $35 or $40. So this is a smaller one. It's in the color Flamingo. This is just the 20 ounce, which I'm very excited for myself. And honestly, it looks like it's never been used, which I'm so excited about. So that was a great score. I'm gonna hold on to this myself because I love the color for summer. The last hard good piece that I wanna show you is this tray that I was looking at in the store. This is a pelican. And what drew me into this was it looked like this was an, was an inlay and it just looked really unique in the store. It was a pelican with a fish. This is very mid-century modern. Um, this was also $3.99. This uh, this just went out on the floor on $4.20. So you can see it, it has a few like, maybe like sticky marks that I need to get off the back. I could not read any of this, it was worn out. So I did put this in Google Lens and there's only one of these listed on eBay and it's listed for $145. The sold comps very, very much like from $12, $15, all the way up to $165 for this designer. Let me get the name for you. So I'm just gonna Google Lens this one more time. Google Lens is amazing if you're ever looking. So I just took a snapshot of that and what it does is Google then comes up with pictures that look like what you're looking for. So the visual match on Etsy, it's Korok of Monterey inlaid tray. So C-O-U-R-O-C, Korok, I don't know if I'm saying that right. This one of a train sold for $75 on Etsy. I'm hoping to get anywhere, anything north of $50 for this. This is what confuses me. I'm sure it just depends on how rare it is, but like this one, it looks larger, almost like a table. That is listed for $245 on Etsy. I love discovering new things. And this one is on eBay for $31. So the price is all over the park. I hope that I can make somewhere north of $40. And I'm always interested in learning about new designers and things that are not so much in my wheelhouse. Probably one of the best things I got was at the sale at Buffalo Exchange. When I finally got to the sale, they were closing it down in five minutes. I kind of wish I had gotten there a little bit sooner for more selection, but I did really well at Goodwill, so I don't feel too bad about it. But let me show you what I got for a dollar per item. All right, I'm going to start with shoes to show you. These were all one dollar. I wish I had more hands. I would have grabbed more. I grabbed these based on style. I love these chunky chains as accessories on handbags and on shoes, and I just thought these were so cute. They're a nice light color for one dollar. Can't go wrong. They feel like they're man- 
man-made, so, but they also look pretty brand new on the bottom. It says Montebello, size nine. I don't know if that's the style or the brand. I think it's the style of this particular shoe. The cool thing about getting things from Buffalo Exchange is that all of their stuff is already curated. They do a really good job of going through stuff. They're very fussy with what they take. I've never heard of this $1 sale before, but I was very excited to stumble upon it today. I also got these really cute snakeskin shoes. I thought these were beautiful. Again, these look like they were practically brand new. This brand, it just has an M right here. I don't think this is anything worth a ton of money, but even if I list these for $25 and someone's just looking for style, these are really fantastic shoes. I think they're so nice. And these are a size 37 European. So what's that, like six and a half maybe? I also got these uh, platform boots in excellent like new condition. You can see the sole of these, $1. They definitely have some purpley undertones, but it's more of like a grayish purple color. Um, yeah, and it's by Bear Paw. They're size 11, definitely out of season right now but I don't mind holding on to these considering that they were such a good price. Yeah, the, the size 11 tags on the bottom of those. I love the little tie in the back, but this next pair is the one that has my heart. I've never found this brand before, but the second I saw that these shoes were made in Paris, I'm like, I'm grabbing them. They're a dollar, and I thought they were stunning. The brand is Olgana, and oh my goodness, Olgana. These shoes retail for $610. Most recent sale that I saw was $90 for these, but many of these shoes sell between $100 and $200, like all day long. There are a couple issues with these, so I might expect around that 90 to 100, um, but these shoes are just stunning. They have this little chain on the side here. Um, the bottom sole is in really good condition, and these are a size 36. So a small shoe, they're probably made out of silk because this is just absolutely beautiful fabric. But some of the fabric has a little bit of wear to it. But the biggest issue is that and you can't really tell. I mean, these gems on here are just absolutely stunning. I feel like somebody could wear these for their wedding. But if I turn it this way, you'll see that this is missing its stone, which I actually didn't see when I was purchasing it. I still would have grabbed them for $1. I didn't look up comps while I was there because they were closing in five minutes. I was just grabbing stuff. There is some wear to the heel, so they're not in perfect condition, but these shoes are absolutely stunning. And I learned a new brand because I've never heard of this brand before. And the thought that these go for $600 retail is just pretty amazing. So hoping to get between $75 and $100 for those for a $1 purchase. I want to take a second to thank today's sponsor. I'm partnering with a company called Magic Mind. This is a new company for me. I'm very excited to talk about them. They sell this magic little potion that helps you focus. As a reseller who needs to be on my game, it's always nice to have something that gives me that extra boost in the morning to help with my focus. This is unlike caffeine, so it doesn't give you like the jitters. It helps you not only have energy, but for me, the more important thing was to have focus. I definitely have some ADD tendencies and I can get distracted very easily having a job that requires me to be on my phone all the time or have a screen on. I really appreciate the fact that this can give me focus so quickly. This gives you energy, it helps you relax, and it keeps you focused, and it makes you happy. The company did send me a 15-day supply of Magic Mind, and I've been taking it for 10 days in a row, and it really has helped improve my focus and my productivity, which is very important. Things are busier than they've been in a long time, and it's really important for me to stay focused. I love to mix my Magic Mind with almond milk and ice for a delicious treat, and all of the ingredients are 100% natural. Click the link in my description and save 20% off your purchase today. Okay, let's go quickly through the rest of the stuff from here. I almost didn't get this because it's such a bulky, bulky sweater and it's out of season. There's a part of me that like wants to put this away until the fall because this would be so beautiful. I mean, this is chunky. There is weight to this. So the brand is Sleeping on Snow, which is sold at Anthropology. And it's that really, it has that eyelash and then it's cable knit. It's chunky. It's like gorgeous. 
big sleeves. I mean, this is really nice for winter, but right now heading into summer, I'm like, Lori, what are you doing? You're gonna store this for a very long time. But it is a size medium, sleeping on snow, and you know, I could list that low, like maybe list it for $20 and just move it right now, or I could list it more like $38 and sit on it for a while. What would you do? I'll see. Certainly I am up for offers on all of my stuff all the time. I grabbed this at the very end. I loved the sleeves on this. CMEO Collective. I've never heard of this brand, but I thought that this style was really cute. Um, I love the stripes, and stripes were definitely something that I was looking at for spring trends, but look at the sleeve. It's all ribbed here, and it has this little bubble and this puff. I love you know, that the stripes on this don't line up in the front. I think that this brand could be special, but I need to look it up. I thought this was such a cute, cute sweater. It is a size small. I kind of want to look this up. Let me just see. I mean, I'm just looking at listings and I'm seeing sweaters listed for 63, 49, 32, and 55, 50. So my guess is it's a good brand. This bag is also my dollar bag. I might keep this dress. I have to try it on, but it's just locked. And I thought it was really cute and it was a size large. This is it. It's just really cute. It's just a black floral, cute little sleeves. Absolutely adorable. It has B written on it, so I don't know. But anyways, it's just a nice uh, midi dress. We just booked a trip to Florida, so I'm gonna need some stuff. I'll try it. If not, I will list this. Okay, what is this? Well, these are just J. Crew. This says B.E. too. Oh, I think that means Buffalo Exchange. <laughs> I'm like, who's this lady B that donated all these things? I wonder if this signified the sale. They also put everything in these green bags, so if you went into the store, they would know that it was from the sale. But these are the Gigi pants in a size four from J. Crew. I thought these were really nice. Very stretchy, um, just nice, basic simple work pants. I thought those were cute for a dollar. Gosh, I was just grabbing stuff. I saw this was COS. COS is a brand. It's actually an H&M brand, but look at these sleeves. I thought this was so cute. It's a higher end of H&M, but I, I'm kind of hit or miss with this brand, but I really thought these sleeves were cute. And of course, for a dollar, I'm gonna grab it. It's a little bit longer in length. This could be a dress, actually. It's an extra small. I think this is a dress. It definitely is. Oh, very cute. I love these sleeves. I think those are very unique. I think that's all 10. All right, so all of those items cost just $10. All those shoes and dresses, tops. Now let's move on to the items that I got at the Goodwill, starting with what I'm wearing. This is a Madewell top. It's a size medium. I think it's so cute. It actually does not fit me. It's very tight in the back and I'm wearing a tank top underneath because it would also be pretty low cut, but I love this square neck and you know these little kind of uh, balloonish sleeves. I thought this was so adorable and just a basic cream color from Madewell. Um, it's also peplum style, so it's high-waisted. There's just a little tight on my back. Oh, my husband also bought these. We'll see. These are supposedly supposed to make hard-boiled eggs, but you put you crack them and put them in here and it boils the eggs. I'm very suspicious, but we'll see. I got this sweater for myself. I'm gonna have to try it on. It is from Madewell. It is a size large and it's this nice neutral color. I've been obsessing over the Jenny Kane website and their fisherman cardigans. They're so expensive. That's like top five for brands that I'm on the lookout for and not just brand. I want a cardigan sweater by Jenny Kane and I've just never found one over here, but this gave me Jenny Kane vibes and it is made well in a large and I think it's from like 2018 or 2020. And what I love about this Goodwill is all their sweaters are 549. You're not messing around with like not knowing prices like or, or savers where some sweaters are $3.99 and some are $12.99. They did have certain things met, uh, marked up. Like I was going to grab a Robert Graham t-shirt for men. I thought it was really cool. It had a skull on it and then I got to the register. That was priced at $7.99. So I guess they do price certain things up, but not many. These boots I thought were really cool. Look at the gems on here. Look at the detail on these boots. So I saw this 
and it's here too. And I was like, these look really unique. Again, not in season. Here I am looking for spring trends and I come home with black leather boots. But I thought these were so cool. And then I looked and they are Vera Wang Lavender, which is a nice line from Vera Wang. And I thought these were so adorable. Their shoes are a little pricey. I did pay $12 for these, but I thought they were gorgeous. I love when I find items that mix something that's super edgy, like more of a moto boot with something very feminine, like the gem. I love that vibe. So I think these are super cute. Oh, they're my size. They're a 38 and a half or an eight and a half. So these are awesome. Very excited about those. I was so excited about these. Oh, this, this is the egg thing. Egglets? I'm very suspicious. But anyways, we're going to try those out. We eat hard boiled eggs all the time around here. How adorable are these Doc Martens? in this chocolate brown. They're like total cottage co cottage core vibes. They are a women's size six. They're in such excellent condition. These were $16. They were the new color. I'm obsessed with these. I love these so much. I love the color and I think these are perfect for spring and they are like that. They feel like canvas, you know, and they're just beautiful. I haven't checked comps on these, but anytime I find Doc Martens, I'm happy, especially in a beautiful pattern and in pristine condition. So definitely, definitely, I would pay $16 for those all day long. Shoe game was good today. I also got these Tory Burch. They had, I got two pairs of Tory Burch shoes and they were priced at just $10. So these are really cute. They have um, a silver Tory Burch logo. What size are these? Um, these are in really beautiful condition. It's very soft leather. Can't see the size. I'm gonna guess these are like a size nine. Let me try them on. Okay, they actually fit me perfect. I'm gonna guess that these are a nine because I'm usually a nine in, um, in flats. Hoping for between $65 and $85 for these. $10 investment. You saw when I first walked in that the color, um, the half off color was red. I got one item out of 32 that was red and it was these coach shoes, which I thought were really cute. I don't always pick up coach shoes, but these were in beautiful condition. I love leopard print. They, they are just gorgeous. So they were priced at $20 and I got them for 10. And this, the heel is covered in leather. There's a tiny little nick right here, but it's like a calf hair. And it's got like the little, if I come in close here, you can see that coach is right here. I just thought these were gorgeous. Okay, oh gosh, another eight and a half. Elena, these are the Elena heels, size eight and a half. Gorgeous. Last up, I haven't sold all, I haven't found all birds in a while, but I love to sell all birds and these were in really great condition. They are gray. These are a woman's 10 all birds and these were also $10. I couldn't find the price until I was at the register. I'm like, I can't find the price on these, but yeah, $10. These were also green. Most of these things that I picked up were green and they were putting out so much inventory. I've never been to this location on a Saturday morning and Somerville in general was hopping and parking is tough. There's a Buffalo Exchange right next door to the Goodwill. So I was pretty pumped about this. All right, I got this Lulu's dress. I love to pick up Lulu's new with tag. I always find Lulu's new with tag. I'm pretty certain I have this in like a gold color. Uh, this is a popular dress from them. It's cute for summer. It's navy blue. It's like a little mini dress with little tie sleeves. This is a size small new with tag and their dresses at this store are $8, but I actually think they only charge me for a shirt on this because because it's a small, it kind of looks like a tunic. I don't think he charged me for a dress on that. I picked up this corduroy shirt for men. So this is J. Crew, but it is new with tag and the shirts are like $5.50. So a little out of season, but these corduroy shirts can be worn as like a nice spring jacket over a t-shirt. It's a size small. I think women would look adorable in this with the sleeves rolled up and a little tank top and some cut off jeans. Like if you're going out and you just want something to throw on when it gets cool at night, I think that would be a great option. I loved this Free People dress. This is Free People 1 in this teal color. Um, it just has like that little tiny, little tiny like uh, copper tag and it's very strappy. 
and it has all this lace detail and then it is just a gorgeous maxi dress with this fun hem on the bottom. This is so pretty. So this is also a small, but it's very stretchy. The top part stretches. I'm excited to list that. This is a Bowden shirt and this is what size? It's a US 8. I've been really enjoying selling, selling Bowden lately. It's got a little gathered sleeve here. Just basic, cute with jeans, cute for spring. This is my first time finding this brand and I looked it up and some of the comps were crazy, crazy good. Others, not so much. It's one of those brands I'm like, I have to buy it and give it a try. I think I paid $8 for this because it was a jacket, but the brand is Wallace and Barnes and I'm pretty sure this is also sold at J. Crew. I've never seen this tag but the tag was interesting to me and also the asymmetrical pattern was also interesting to me that one pocket is this way and this one was on an angle it was just interesting enough for me to investigate it was like a pullover nice lightweight jacket some of the comps on these pieces are over a hundred dollars a lot of the jackets retail for 150 to 250 dollars um, but this particular piece i have no idea i'm hoping for about 50 dollars for it but i need, definitely need to do more research let me know in the comments if you've heard of wallace and barnes and if you've ever sold it i'm excited to see how it does i picked up this dress by alice and olivia uh, oh, I take that back. Elizabeth and James. I did see some Alice and Olivia that I passed on. And I don't always pick up Elizabeth and James. This used to be a high-end name, uh, the Olsen Twins. It's their company. But it's now sold at Kohl's. And I think there's a way of knowing. I don't know if this is a Kohl's version. But even if it is, I really liked this dress. I thought it was just a cute summer pattern. Floral, very lightweight. It's lined. It has like pleating right here. And you know, it's just like a knee length dress, just a super easy dress to throw on, go out to dinner with flip flops. It's an extra small. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna look on the tag and see if it says anything about Kohl's. It says 220. So that almost leads me to believe that is Kohl's. I don't know when they took over or if they still have a line that's separate. I don't know much about Elizabeth and James. So let me know if you know. Um, oh, Jay bought these cups. I guess I have more houseware. This was Jay. As you guys know, we got a new espresso machine and we love it so much. And I picked up these like true espresso cups. Um, but we typically have cappuccino and not espresso, but we've been loving like the little espresso cups. And so Jay's like, I got these um, because they're a little bit bigger for our cappuccino. The other ones are true espresso. So if you have any milk in there, steamed milk, it kind of overflows. So I guess we got more red tag. These were priced at $1.99. So these were a dollar. Versailles tabletop lifestyle. Versailles, they're pretty. They remind me of the, the, I got just like a flat white. These have a little bit of a pattern on them. I'm not seeing any chips or anything. So those are really cute. I liked this sports bra. I've never sold this brand, Paragon. Um, so I wanted to give it a try, but it's, it's a style that my daughter really loves and it's her size. Some of the comps on these were mostly between 15 and 20, but I did see some comps between 20 and 30 and their tank tops were just $3. So I figured I would give it a try. And if it doesn't do well or if Angie wants it, I would give it to her. Um, definitely every time I go close to Boston, I'm always seeing new brands. It always takes me more time to thrift when I'm close to the city because I'm always finding brands that I'm looking up. Um, so that was one that I paused to look up. This I knew right away was Soul Cycle from the Skull and Crossbones. I thought this was a really cute sports bra. I thought this was adorable. I love like the green and peach on the bottom. So cute. I don't know what I would get for this, probably in that 20 range. It looks like it is a size small. Oftentimes they collaborate, like you'll see Lululemon, Soul Cycle, but I think this is just straight Soul Cycle brand. So I don't think it will be like too much of a return, but again, super cute. All right, this was one of my favorite things. Jay really loved this. This was Jay's favorite piece. This I can't wait to list on Depop. I've sold three things on Depop now, which I'm loving. Uh, this is a vintage bowling shirt. Oh my gosh. And it says scooter right here. Look at that. Look at 
the 1970s collar. Then I was like, is this a costume or something? But no, it says King Louis creation made in the USA. It's definitely vintage. And look at the back. It says Memorial, what does it say? Memorial Park. So I don't know if this is just a league that is local or what. I don't know how this ended up at the Goodwill, but I love it. I mean, even the name, Scooter, everything about this is so incredible. The Paisley trim, I thought this was amazing. I need to look this up. King Louis creation, made in the USA. It's an extra large, so I mean, people could just have so much fun with this. I was so excited about this. We'll see how it does. This is smart wool. Again, more sweaters, more sweaters in the summer. Every time I say, um, oh, I'm gonna go look for spring trends, or oh, don't buy more than 10 things. Those are always the days that I find a million things. I'm never gonna say no to smart wool. Here it is. Smart wool is like almost like a guaranteed $40 for a sweater. I mean, I sell smart wool layered pieces for around this price, but this is even more substantial. It's just a ribbed turtleneck sweater. It's got these pretty sleeves, nice and textured. Maybe I should put this in that moths or sleeping on snow sweater, just like tuck them away and then list them in October. But no, I'll list them now. Plus it's a large. So excited. This was on a newer rack. There were so many sweaters at this store, so many, and they were packed in. And a lot of the sweaters were on sale, but I just have to stop myself because I'm such a sucker for sweaters. Here's another one. This was interesting because this really caught my eye and then I saw that it was new with tag. I just loved the pattern. I loved the double V-neck. I'm gonna try this on because I think this is so cute. Um, and it was new with tag. It looks like it's just a boutique brand. Uh, Listeel, no, Listical. Like Popsicle, Listicle. There we go, there's the tag. And I saw another woman in the store with the sweater. So I had a feeling that there were a couple of these in the store new with tag, um, but I love this. This really caught my eye. I love the colors in this. I just think this would be really cute, just slouchy and big. You know I love V-necks. This could also be worn in the summer if we really need to at night with like a nice pair of white shorts. I don't know, am I pushing it? <laughs> Wishing that we could wear that for summer? Oh, these Free People pants I thought were so cool. These are Free People Beach. What size are these? They're small, unfortunately. That's the Free People Beach uh, tag, but look at these. They're wide leg and they have like a crossover in the front. They're kind of funky. Okay, so here's the front. So they have a drawstring and then the, this is the leg, wide leg, so comfy, so comfy. But look at the back. The back has this crossover. I'm so confused. Wait a second. Here we go. That's the back. And it has this little crossover panel right here. So really unique style. And I can just see this with like a black cropped tank top on the beach. This would be so adorable. And I'm very excited to try to find a stock photo on this because Free People always has like such great images. I also picked this top up. This is just Anthropology, Akemi and Kim. I like this line from Anthro. There's the tag. They always have cute pieces, but isn't this adorable? I thought this was so sweet. So this won't be a huge return, um, but I thought it was cute to have in my closet because I do I do need spring stuff since I keep buying sweaters. I think I just have a couple more. These are the Tory Burch flats that are in this like snake skin pattern, which were also $10. What I love about both of these Tory Burch shoes is there's no wear here. Like when I have flats like this, like I have, I have quite a few pairs of um, teaks and the issue with my teaks is just I have like a wider foot and I think the way that I walk I'm always like marking up this part of the heel, which of course as a reseller like drives me crazy because I wanna be sure that I could sell those shoes someday. But I think a lot of my teaks aren't gonna be worth much by the time I'm done with them. So I appreciate the fact that even though there's a tiny bit of wear on the heel on these, there's like no wear essentially to the actual shoe. So these are really cute. This also is like a wooden, I thought it was gold, but this is like wooden. Aren't these gorgeous? I don't know what I can get for these, but again, I'm really hoping for 
that's 65 to 85. I spent $190 at Goodwill, which is a lot for me, but I was just having so much fun. And we were on metered time, so I actually had to go. I could have stayed all day. I, could, I They just kept bringing out stuff. Mm, 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 dangerous, dangerous. CP Shades. We're going to end with one of my tried and true favorite brands. This is high-end brand that sells primarily linen and organic fabrics, organic cotton, but this is the label. I rarely, rarely see stores mark this up because the label is kind of hard to read and these pieces are always so unassuming in my opinion. Unless you're at like a boutique that knows their brands, I get CP shades. If I find it, it's usually not marked up. It looks like it's probably a small at best because um, I think their stuff tends to run a little oversized and this isn't oversized at all. So, but one of the spring trends too, stripes and a lot of tan and white. It's kind of like a new obsession of mine is finding tan and white things. It's just so perfect for summer. Um, so yeah, that is the last thing. This is just a button down shirt. So maybe 35 to $45 for this. But I believe that is everything. I had so much fun. Today was especially great because I wasn't really planning on going out and thrifting. We headed out early and we found all these amazing things. So thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what your favorite piece is that I found. How is thrifting going for you? Um, I hope you're finding lots of fun things while you're out there thrifting. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the like button and remember to subscribe. And also, if you wanna be notified when a new video comes out, you can hit the bell and then you'll get an email when I release videos, which is about two times every week. Thanks again to Magic Mind for partnering with me in today's video. Be sure to click the link in my description and get your discount today and get focused. Bye everybody. I wish it wasn't gone. <laughs>